Hi everyone, this is Mark Scheller, real estate broker and advocate of consumer safety everywhere. I want to discuss a deeply disturbing trend that I see with realtors and their sellers who currently have their homes for sale. The market has experienced a never seen before set of rules that buyers must abide by or they cannot view the house. Today, we are going to discuss these excessive rules of engagement, how consumers get injured, and those dangerous and slippery blue booties. You heard me right. Today, we are going to discuss other people's booties right here on the Mark Scheller Real Estate Channel. <laughs> we are going to do all of that and more. You know what I'm going to say next. No, 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 next. <laughs> In my 30 years as a full-time realtor, the demands that sellers are putting on buyers during a house showing are exploding out of control. Now, there was a time when sellers created a positive atmosphere to come on over, view the product, take your time. There would only be one party in the house at a time. And the buyers could decide if they were comfortable in the space and if it felt like home. But with COVID, everything changed. And now post COVID, buyers are being raked over the coals with seller imposed rules of engagement. To view a house now, consumers must show up exactly on time. We have a 15 minute, or maybe if we get lucky, a 30 minute segment woo, in which we are allowed to see the property. Usually cameras, microphones, ring doorbells are following us around and watching our every move. We can't touch anything and we must leave our shoes either outside or wear those slippery blue and dangerous booties. By the time consumers get through all of that and we're standing in their incredible new kitchen, oftentimes the customers have lost interest in the product because so far, the experience has been total BS. As an example of this, let's unpack this challenging problem now occurring in homes across our nation. That is so frustrating. That is so sad. The number of homes now requiring these blue booties has gone, ooh, I'm invisible, has gone from about 10% pre-COVID to way over 50% now post COVID. And I don't like it because these blue booties have problems. They are slippery. They're a trip hazard. They get snagged on things. And overall, they are just not safe for consumers. And yet at the entrance to thousands of homes, realtors and buyers are being told, not ask to put on these slip and trip hazards and too many injuries are occurring. I am the type of person who likes things clean, so I do understand the purpose of the booties is to keep the flooring in these various houses clean. Here is an example of the blue booties. Okay, they were originally designed for healthcare to where you would shuffle around mostly on one floor. These things are nylon, the dark and the light are both very slippery. And when you put these on your shoes, and you go to a stairway like this, in each of the brokerages I've been at, there have been situations where consumers have put these on their reliable shoes. And as they hit, especially wood stairs or tile areas, they are very slippery and very dangerous to consumers. So on the box for the booties, it says that they are safe for smooth surfaces. So I thought, let's try it out. Okay, here is the surface of my booty. Say what? So let's check it out on a few average kitchen things. Here is a butcher block. Okay, hold the butcher block up. Pardon me, we're kind of close here. Barely tip it over. Up, oh, there it goes. Very slippery. Here is a common household cookbook. Pardon me while I adjust this. And there is the cookbook. Barely tip it. There goes the cookbook. To me, they're very slippery and not good for friction at all. And for those of you who remember the old song, 
Shake, 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 do 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 do. Shake, 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 do 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 do. Shake your booty, ow. Shake your booty, ow. Next are a few examples of bad things we have encountered after sellers say, you must remove your shoes or wear booties. So in this house, the seller said, must remove shoes to protect our carpets. Here we have dead bugs. Here we have brown recluse spiders that are actually nesting right under the vanity. So, I mean, what could go wrong? Owie! 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 You're a fool! What a mess! No! You're gonna fall! Entering the house, it was mandatory that we take off our shoes. I mean, what could go wrong walking around the house in bare feet? And here are a few examples of uses for these booties that are better than endangering the public health. In conclusion, it has been proven that these booties are bad for consumers and we realtors should not be recommending them. The message that homeowners are sending to consumers is that their carpet or their floors is more important than the safety of the consumers visiting the house. All right, everybody, that's it for today. If this content was interesting to you, let me know that you are watching and that you want more. Click subscribe for me below and click the notification bell. All right, everybody, stay safe out there and keep your shoes on. This is Mark Scheller. Until next time.